Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the current potential difference graph for a filament lamp. You should then be able to explain the shape of this graph. In the last video we saw that resistors are often used in circuits to control the potential difference across other components. Remember that resistors have got this symbol. We saw that we can use this circuit to change the potential difference across a resistor and then measure the current flowing through it. Remember that if we change the potential difference across a resistor and measure the current, then we get a graph like this. The current through a resistor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the resistor. In other words, the resistance is constant. We call resistors such as these ohmic conductors. Remember though that this only applies if the temperature does not change. Now in this video, we're going to do the same experiment but this time using a filament lamp. We're going to look at the shape of the graph and compare it with the graph for a resistor. So let's start by taking a closer look at filament lamps. I'm showing you here a filament lamp that we sometimes find in homes. These are being phased out as they're not energy efficient. A torch bulb such as this one is also a filament lamp. Now the word filament means a very, very fine wire. And you can see the filaments in the lamp and in the torch bulbs here. So this shows you a close-up of a filament and you can see that the wire is very tightly coiled. In a filament lamp this wire gets extremely hot when an electric current passes through it. This causes it to glow and give out light like this. In this circuit I've got a filament lamp and I'm going to change the potential difference and measure the current just like I did before with the resistor. So here's the graph that we get from that experiment. And as you can see, the current through a filament lamp is not directly proportional to the potential difference. That's because the filament gets hot and that causes the resistance to increase. At high temperatures, the atoms in the filament vibrate more. That means that the electrons in the current now collide more with the atoms. So more energy is needed to push the current through the filament. Now we can see that by looking at the graph, as the potential difference increases, the current no longer increases as much. And that tells us that resistance is increasing. So in other words, a filament lamp is not an ohmic conductor. Now it's really important that you learn the shape of this graph. It often comes up in exams. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the resistance of a filament lamp in my vision workbook. You can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the current potential difference graph for a filament lamp. You should then be able to explain the shape of this graph. Mm -hmm.